And then when you watch those those press conferences after they land rovers on Mars, when you listen to that shit. The team here at JPL at NASA and around the country that contributed to this spectacular achievement. I can only imagine what incredible data and new understandings are going to be uncovered in the coming days, months, and years because of this success. <laughs> Say something profound. <laughs> I am terribly humbled by this experience. I forever, secretly, have felt that I do not deserve to be in the position of leading the team that I lead because they are certainly in some and largely by count of individual more capable than I. A couple of other groups of folks that I'd like to thank that I think we all are thankful for. Uh, certainly this beautiful theater of tonight, the drama. of us all being able to experience it together. <laughs> Comes through the efforts of the Odyssey project and the Odyssey spacecraft and that team being able to dip that bent pipe UHF telemetry to us. Unrivaled in the experience for all of us. And naturally, the DSN and the, uh, and the X-band telemetry that really allowed us to back that up. Um, so please, a round of applause for our calm. Oh my God, those are the, that's the worst acting ever. Um, Adam, uh, tell us about the landing. All right, Greg. Um, I can't tell you too much about it. I mean, it looks good. Uh, I'm being a little flip. Uh, in short, it looked extremely clean. Uh, we had, uh, yeah, we had, uh, we had, we touched down in conditions that were um, on the more benign side of our nominal expectation. Our, um, by, by the way, I want to preface everything. This is preliminary data scooped with the sieve in the cacophony of the control room during the celebration, right? And largely by my good friend, Miguel San Martin, who's somewhere out there, I hope. Uh, where's, where's Michael at? He's always at calling someone out. I hope he's here. Where's Michael? At any rate, um, very nominal, uh, remarkably good. Uh, um, our navigation error was, uh, was on the low side of our expectation, which meant that we probably had a good alignment between the celestial center sensors and the inertial, uh, inertial sensors, the IMU. Yeah, it, uh, it went better than initially projected, but on rather the benign side of the spectrum. <laughs> but yeah. Um, our powered flight appears to have been excellent. If my good friend Ben Toma is in the house, is Ben in the house? We landed with um, 140 kilograms of r fuel reserves out of a total of 400 kilos that we carried in. And we're gonna, Ben worked quite diligently in stretching the tanks at my insistence because I was worried we wouldn't have enough fuel. And so I think I owe Ben a little bit of an apology there. <laughs> so uh, it looked good, in short. Good and clean. And, and it looks, at least by my eyeball, that we uh, landed in a nice, flat spot. Beautiful. <laughs> really beautiful. What? 
I have to ask you, what kind of file type, can you tell us about the image file type and compression that was used to send this very important uh, couple of thumbnails back from Mars? Yes, unfortunately, I absolutely cannot. If Justin Mackey is in the room, or there's a couple other people on the team who'd be able to whip that out quickly, but I, I don't, couldn't tell you. Sorry. A little more than 48 hours ago, you told me you would tell me a secret. Once curiosity landed, can I have my secret? Yeah, what was this? A lot has happened in the last 48 hours. And to be very truthful, I do not recall what that secret was. I'm going to hold you to this. That's fine. Maybe I'll remember it. The, the unmanned spaceflight website has coordinates for the landing that go down to something like five decimal points. I just wanted to confirm with you that you do have those sort of coordinates. And am I reading those coordinates correctly when I see that it looks as though you've landed within 500 meters of the skirt around the mountain that I mean you're really very close to the mountain at the closer end in the landing ellipse and possibly within striking distance of the phyllosilicate trench I can I can't confirm that um, my estimate I'm looking for somebody yes there's somebody in the audience here who has that in the tip of their Noggin. Um, we should have soon that estimate, uh, but I, I don't have it to five decimal places. Uh, we wouldn't report it to that because we don't, we're certain that we don't know it to that. Um, and I don't know what the space, unmannedspaceflight.com uh, estimate is. Can you tell us uh, at what time Curiosity touched down Earth received time and at what time the first image came back? First of those is 10.39 p.m. The second of those I don't have. 